I've been using this Sailey logic analyzer on the BBC Microbit. So I've been using it to uh, look at some of the interface pins. So there's there are a couple of pins that are known as the I squared C bus. And I wanted to connect things externally to the to the micro bit. So the actual device that I'm connecting, I'll show you in another video. But today I just wanted to look at this thing, the Sailey Logic Analyzer, because um, it's a really useful little device. And it, it allows you to turn a, a Windows machine into a logic analyzer. So you can plug this into your device under test, like the micro bit and you plug this end into into the PC and with some special software you can actually see what the device is doing on the screen so it's really useful. So just before I, I plunge into showing you how this thing works I really want to explain I squared C a little bit um, I'm not going to go into it in great detail in this video because it really deserves a video all, all to itself. But um, if I just describe the basics of I squared C. So in this particular case, I've got my micro bit. And there are two pins that are coming out here. One's called SDA, which is a data line. And the other's called SCL, which is a, a control or a, or a clock line. And uh, this is what's called I squared C, these, these two lines here. And the purpose of I squared C is it's a, it's a shared bus. So these two lines can be then connected to multiple devices. So I might have a thermometer here which is connected to these lines. And I might have a memory, like a flash memory, that's connected to exactly the same lines. And I might have a display. You get uh, like LCD displays that also use I squared C. So using the, the same couple of wires, the micro bit should be able to talk to all of these devices at the same time using the, the same wires. And the reason it can do that is because each one of these devices has its own unique address. So this one might be, for example, device 42. This one might be 6. This might be 12. So that gives the micro bit the possibility to individually address different devices and read and write to different devices at different times. So let me just show you the Sailey Logic Analyzer software running and I can describe some of the things that you see when you connect the Sailey Logic Analyzer to the, the micro bit. So what we're doing here is the Sailey device um, I'm actually attaching to the same wires so it can watch all of the messages going backwards and forwards. So let's look at that on the screen. I'll just show you the code that I've got loaded into the micro bit today. So all we're doing here is printing out the string hello. That's just so that I can see that the micro bit is doing something after I've pressed the reset button. And then here I'm using this I squared C read number. So uh, this this is reading the I squared C bus for a value. And I just picked the value 49, random value 49. I haven't got any anything attached to the micro bit at the moment other than the Sailey logic analyzer. This is the number that we're going to look for when we're looking at the Sailey logic analyzer in Windows my micro bits connected to the Sailey logic analyzer here and if I reset the micro bit it prints some text out to the screen so the micro bit here is sitting in a little Keytronic edge connector 
let's take a look now in the Sailey Logic software in the Windows PC. So on the left hand side there you have the the names of the various pins that you're going to connect to, collect data from. And on the right you have analyzers. So the analyzer allows me to select I squared C decode. And with I squared C selected I can then select the SDA and SCL pins. So if I press start here and I reset the, uh, the micro bit it starts gathering data and now you can see we've, we've managed to capture some data now so you can move backwards and forwards on, on the data here and you can um, you can zoom in and look at the data in more detail so if I zoom in there uh, you can see all of the, the transitions of the two lines and I can see some data in there it says 1D and um, so 1D is the accelerometer which is a chip on the micro bit itself And scrolling along, let's see if I can see anything else. So here, here we've got 0E, and 0E is the magnetometer. So in other words, the, the chip used for the onboard compass on the micro bit. So you can see the, the chit chat between the chips actually on the micro bit. Uh, so that says zero, so that wasn't really what I was expecting to see there. So I think I'll try again, I'll just do another capture. So we start, reset the micro bit, and now it's gathered some, some data again, and we zoom in. And this time it says 49, 0x49, which if you remember looking back at the code was the, the, the value that we were trying to read from in the micro bit code. So to quickly look at another example, here I've got an Arduino and it's got a seven segment display connected I was messing about with some software here and we got the Sailey analyzer connected again so this isn't I squared C this time it's uh, uh, like a clock and data line that drives the display so we're going to look at what's going on on the display here so you can rename the channels and so so here I'll, I'll rename the channels so that they've got the names of the pins that I'm looking at on this display, clock and data, uh, set a rising edge as the thing that I'm interested in. And start. So there it's triggered and I've managed to capture some data. So if we zoom in we can see the clock pulses and on the second line we can see the, the data that was being sent to the display on each clock pulse. So there, there are several decoders built in. Um, so what we'll do here, we'll select the PS2 keyboard, and I know it's not a PS2 keyboard, but this gives quite a good decode um, because it's got a clock and data line. So if we capture some data and then we look in, so, so now we've got 
the numeric decode as well. So it tells us the the number that's being sent every time the Arduino talks to the display. So that's quite useful. And down on the right hand side there you can also see there's there's a list of the various numbered events that happened while we were capturing. So I hope you found this video about the Saley Logic Analyzer interesting or useful. If you did, please give me a like down below on the video. It really helps. And please think about subscribing to my channel. I'll be doing some more things in the next few weeks to do with I squared C and uh, connecting things to the micro bit and also to the Arduino. Thanks for watching.